Set me back, we've got four months' pay, including what the bar would say is for a fashionable DA. And do not forget, I'd go each Sunday of the year to Jen in the parade so I could show off Amma Gear. On Saturday nights, I'd hit the pub, play a bit of swigging. When it shot at half past nine, I headed for the jigging. A wee half in the pepper, but they have furtive swally. I go and check the talent out at the dancing in the party. A day I of the crowd to spot some gorgeous dame, tucked her up a time or two and asked to see her home. But first of all, I had to find out where I had to go. And if she lived too far away, I just said cheerio. <laughs> <laughs> Until the night I met a dame that stole my hair a while. When she said she bed in Fintry, I just didn't care at all. <laughs> she really was a cracker, a wee dumb dee delight. If she said she lived in Kerimere, that would be been all right. But well, we sauntered out the Nethergate for a wee romantic stroll and lingered at the coffee stall for a sausage on a roll. <laughs> she had coffee and the bob roll, but so what? I never cared. And I took a lassie for a meal, no expenses. <laughs> <laughs> the teddy boys are fickle and I couldn't settle down. So a lot of my lassies hemmed to other pets of tune. It was rock and roll and jevin, chatting lassies here and there. My life was beer and skiffle. Life was great, I didn't care. But that was long ago now. The years of tender toll, my DA's disappeared, and I'm too stiff for rock and roll. But I still tuck out the tiny gear to wear in a while. I can tell someday it might just come back in, in style. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's all for it.